summer breeze You know you make me feel, feel at ease Come to summer breeze Oh, summer breeze You make, make me feel, feel at ease Won't you come, come and join me at summer breeze Woo. She's one of the stars of the 2022 Summer Breeze Soul Music Festival here on Corfu. She's got a voice to die for, she's a prolific songwriter, and she's got a new album out. It's Shayla Prosper. Hey. Shayla, <laughs> welcome to Summer Breeze. Thank you. First time here? It's my first time here, and I'm so glad they invited me. It's been fabulous. Well, I just wanted to say the first time we got a glimpse of you on this visit was, I think it was Wednesday night, when you came out of nowhere like a jet fighter, no. <laughs> got on the stage and did an a cappella. You got love, you're rich, you got peace. You got a roof over your head and someone hold at night. You're rich, you're rich, yeah. You know what, I just want you to let people know that I'm here and I will be performing later on in the week, so please You're not come. going anywhere. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through your albums, you've got, I think, three. And yes. um, you've written all of the songs on those, or most of I've them? I've written the majority of the songs. I think with each album, um, there may have been one or two songs that I didn't write. How did you start originally getting into music and songwriting? Oh, well, I grew up in a house where music was played constantly. My mother loved country music. My dad loved reggae music. So he would listen to uh, Gregory Isaacs. Um, my mum would be listening to Dolly Parton and that kind of stuff. So I learned about lyrics and emotion because I was, you know, I was just so mesmerised by the, by the songs, you know, and the heartache of it all. I was like, oh! Um, and then I discovered Motown. Yeah. And then I discovered, like, the groove. In terms of when I hear, when I write a song, I can hear the music, so I kind of know which direction it's going to go. Yeah. So when I pre to present it to a producer, I'd be saying, I'm going to give you some references. But this is how this song is similar to the drum, the drum beat that I want. I want the bass line to kind of go in this vibe. Um, I hear this brasses and I'd... I'd you know, I'd be singing the melody of the brass. I'm like, bah, 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 bah. I, you know, I'd be, you know, so I'm kind of co-producing it. So because the melody and the lyrics come at the same time mm -hmm. when I get the song, um, but then I can almost hear, I can hear how the drum beat and that, you know, I can hear the vibe of where it's where it should go. I joined a school, a band after school, um, and we actually it was the weirdest time, but we. I felt like we toured the whole of the UK. And so then the band disbanded and there were three of us and we started producing. And it was whilst we were producing in the, in the making our own songs in a studio um, that I met another producer. And that's how my first album came about. But that was in the 90s. In the 90s? Yeah, late, late 90s, mm. that was. The, person, the guy who owned the studio walked past, past the studio and heard me mucking about on the mic and said, oh. And so he hung around and he ended up signing me. And that's how In My Shoes came about, which was my first album. Right. So that was full crew productions. What I remember about the late 90s that I particularly liked in R&B acts both British and American, was uh, the, the attention given to vocals in female bands, mm -hmm. and in particular backing vocals. Yeah. And I could hear that, at least I thought I could hear it in your tracks. Is that right? Am I right there? Was absolutely. that something that you were into at the time? And I'm talking about people like On Vogue and SWV and... Jade, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That was, that was typical of the scene that I was into um, and I mean, when Mary J. Blige's album came out, I was just like, oh, it should be me! <laughs> Your Faith's album came out, because my single came out in, Sorry, came out in 1999, um, and we layered that with, with um, backing vocals. And in fact, at the time, there was other bands floating around the studio, so you had Floetry, you had Cruz, so Sean Cummins um, from Cruz and... Um, Oh gosh, it's just Marsha Ambrose from Floetry came and did some backing vocals on Sorry um, as well. So you've got all of us on there. Um, but yeah, layers with backing vocals. I never met a 
And do you do the backing vocals on your own tracks or do you get other people in to do them? I do. Predominantly, it's all me. I all guess that's me. great because you So don't... that was a rare one, actually, having other people on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the rest of it's me. If I want to sound a bit more full-bodied or sweeter or softer or... I can switch it up because, you know, the producer, yeah, so sing it like this and I can do it. So that's the first album. And then uh, you, what, had a couple of years writing a, the next album or was it bang, bang, out straight no, away? No, it was, there was, there was like 17 years between album one and album two. And it, I found it kind of difficult to, to get back in because um, although I was kind of youngish at the time, I just felt like most people wanted to work with younger artists. So I said, oh, I'll just become a songwriter. So I kind of abandoned my dream of being a, a solo artist and just thought I'd, I'd just try and be a writer. So then did you eventually think, I want to get back into this? Do you know what? It's one of the producers who I originated from, from the band, who still stuck with me um, and said, look, just come down to the studio. We just write for a lot. We just, you know, we just, just potter about. You can just write stuff and um, we'll produce it. And if you don't like it, we just don't do nothing with it. Mm. And that's how I kind of started the second album because um, Everest, who is a singer of his own, Everest Pelias, um, I called him and said, oh, can you do me a couple of backing tracks? Um, and he said, yeah. And I came, went down to his studio. And whilst we were singing um, one of the tracks, I was just, I just wanted the backing track, you know, so I was putting down my backing vocals. Um, and I don't know what DJ, I don't know what station he was from, called him to say, oh, are you in the studio? He said, oh, yeah, I'm in the studio with Shayla. And I'm like, what is she doing in an album? And he's like, yes, she is. And I'm saying that. And they go, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. You are now. We had it done within six months and it came out and it went straight to number one in the Brilliant. UK soul charts and was number one for, album for the year. It was just amazing. We wow. couldn't believe it. It was like, oh, okay. And what year was that album? That was 2017. 2017. What happened after that? So after that, um, I th yeah, so I think I started writing the next album, started that about 2018. So uh, Plus One was the first single off of that album. I um, wrote that song together with Luca Seto and the producer who I went off and did the first album, started the first album with. He said, yeah, come over, you know, I'll do stuff in my free time. So we three of us wrote Plus One, yeah. which was the first single off my third album, which came out in 2019. <laughs> Yeah, so that's, um, that was the third album, um, and I kind of did that on my own. That was independently, because the other ones were done in conjunction with somebody else. Um, and this one, I, I did it independently on my own, financially and everything. So now um, I'm released, I've released new music. I'm not sure if I'm going to do an album or I'm going to do an EP, but we're putting the songs together now. So we've had one released this year, uh, which was a couple of months ago, and um, I'm just waiting some remixes to, to be finished with for that. And yeah. then I shall be releasing some more music um, later on in the year. And I'm very excited about it. I think it will, I'm hoping it will just take me to a different dimension to what I'm in, like not move away from where I'm in, but kind of expand me a little bit. And any particular favourite songs that you played this week from your most recent album? Oh, I like All Eyes On Us. I love that song. And finally, how have you found your week at Summer Breeze? Have you enjoyed it and would you like to come back? Oh, I'd love to come back. I hope you do invite me next time um, because it's just, look at the, I've been to Greece a few times. I love Greece. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. They're wonderful I've not been here. to Corfu or Kavos before, 
and it's just the weather's been gorgeous the whole at summer breeze atmosphere is just so friendly it's fun and these people can rave they can nah. dance nah. non-stop i'm just like oh my. it's brilliant it's brilliant to be on the beach and people are dancing and you hear tunes that take you back to when you were young and it's reminiscent oh it's beautiful beautiful <laughs> shayla it's been an absolute pleasure thank you so much thank for you